here for a uh, appointment for Daisy May. For Daisy? Okay, you can come on in. Okay, we'll be right in. Thanks. <laughs> oh. I know, I know. So I feel fun. so bad. So much fun. So much fun. Oh. going to be having so much fun today, though. Oh, yeah. We're going to take care of her. Hi, everyone. It's Marina and Daisy. And today we are headed off to Daisy's vet's office. Today's gonna be a little bit of a hard day, um, more so for her than it is for me, but uh, I've been kind of uneasy since last night. Um, we, it is not a medical emergency. This is a scheduled procedure. We've known about this since the day that we picked her up from the breeder, and today is just the day that it's all gonna happen. Um, so we invite you to join us on this episode of The Walker Chronicles. Oh. So sweet. <laughs> so is there anything I should bring for her? Like after a blanket to put her? If you want to bring a blanket, you can, but we're going to go ahead and have a blanket for her during the procedure. Okay. After, you okay? Only thing you'll have to worry about is picking her up and then getting her to a nice safe home, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Take oh. good care of her, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye, baby. Okay. I'll wait for the phone call. Thanks, Ricky. When we picked up Daisy from the breeder, we did know that she had an umbilical hernia that needed to be repaired. So today is the day. Um, we're also having her spay. So I am on my way home now. I will probably run a few errands and anxiously wait for the phone call to pick her up and hopefully hear nothing but great news that uh, everything went fine, that the hernia has been repaired and the spay went fine and all she needs to do now is go home and rest. So <sighs> take a deep breath. I have to take a deep breath and just know that she's in good hands and uh, she'll be home with us soon. Hi everyone, I just got off the phone with the vet's office. They called to give me an update on Daisy's status and I'm happy to report that she has gone through surgery, it's completed, everything went smooth. She is resting now, still waking up from anesthesia. I'll be able to pick her up in a couple of hours so I can breathe a little easier knowing that that has all been completed and I will probably make myself a cup of coffee because I am really tired from lack of sleep from last night and I need to be with it when she gets home and be ready to tend and care for her as she needs. So in a couple more hours, my baby will be home. So we'll see you then. She's now resting at home in the uh, air-conditioned room. It's pretty hot today here in SoCal. It's about 92 degrees outside, so I need to make sure I keep her nice and cool. This is the way she'll, she'll end her night and uh, see what tomorrow brings. She should be able to eat a normal meal. She has had a little bit of water to drink since she's gotten home. She wasn't interested in the food just yet, not even some of her uh, favorite treats. I tried to give her a little uh, tiniest piece of her favorite treat and uh, she was not interested. So we are gonna call it a, a day and see what tomorrow brings. A little update on Daisy. Today is the morning after her surgery. Hi honey, hi honey. Oh, 
And as you can see, she is still, still tired and uh, this is to be expected, but uh, she had, she had a really good night. She did sleep probably the hardest ever due to the uh, anesthesia and pain medication that they gave her. So she'll be doing this probably for the next few hours. She does need to eat breakfast and uh, use the, the potty. And then we will see how the day goes from there. Oh, hi, honey. Oh, hi. Look at you. She's not normally like this. She normally jumps right away. Oh, hi. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see. Her incision, it's uh, it's pretty large, as you can see. The vet did say her hernia was bigger than they thought, um, but that and the space surgery. Hi, honey. I know. Well, we'll let her continue to uh, rest, but she needs breakfast and uh, see if a potty break is in her future. So. We'll be back. So Daisy just finished up her breakfast and as you can see she has a ton of energy being that this is the day after surgery. I didn't expect her to be as uh, energetic as she is. She surprised us all as uh, soon as she finished breakfast she ran towards the couch and jumped on it. So to keep her as safe as possible um, she will be spending a little bit more time in her crate. She did have a potty break and uh, yeah, I didn't expect a, I didn't expect her to rebound from surgery quite so quickly. So we just have to watch it and uh, we will be keeping her out of the living room because the living room is her favorite place and the couch is uh, one of her favorite spots. So I'll be playing with her and uh, wearing her out and then another nap and then uh, we'll see how the day goes. <laughs> Hi Daisy! Hi Daisy! You're doing pretty well, huh? <laughs> As you can see, <laughs> Daisy is not very happy with us right now. Um, she has to be put back in her crate. She is wanting to run and jump and play with the cats in the house and her sister, Sitka, who is also a puppy, five months old, just as old as she is. And in order to make sure that she is safe and that she doesn't burst any of her stitches or sutures, we needed to put her back in her crate and she is, uh, she is not happy. <laughs> time she puts her head down to sniff it gets caught on the grass. Oh, okay, come on. 